Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSumer talking to you here. And in today's video, I want to tell you about the iPhone 13 Pro Max and why this phone is the phone to buy in September of 2023, whenever the iPhone 15 comes out. Yes, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the iPhone you should buy this September. And in today's video, I will tell you why. But before we do that, please tell me in the comments below what you think about this new aspect ratio. I'm just trying things out, something new. If you don't know, this is the ultra wide lens of my iPhone 14 Pro Max on a different setup. Let me know how it looks. Do you prefer it? Do you think you prefer the normal lens, the wide lens, which is an equivalent of a 24 millimeter lens, while this one is an equivalent of a 13 millimeter lens. I'm trying things out and I have a surprise for you in the next few months. So yes, of course, let me know in the comments below what you think, but while you're there, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about the iPhone 13 Pro Max's main advantages and why should you buy it in September of 2023? Why am I telling you to buy the iPhone 13 Pro Max in September of 2023, when the iPhone 15 comes out? Well, it's simple. I think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max value will increase even more whenever the iPhone 15 comes out. And it's a simple math equation. Whenever the iPhone 15 comes out, the prices of the iPhone 13 Pro Max will drop even further. And that will make this iPhone the best iPhone value ever. And I know it's weird to think about that, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max features the main three things that make the current iPhone 14 Pro Max and the next iPhone 15 Pro Max the best phone on the planet. And that is the amazing ProMotion display, the amazing build quality, and of course, the incredible camera and video capabilities. So yes, the iPhone 13 Pro Max features all of these advantages over other Android phones and other devices and even newer iPhones like the iPhone 14 or even the iPhone 15. So I think if you are not looking to buy the new iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, the new flagship phones, it's worth it to take a look at the iPhone 13 Pro Max because this device on the used market, on the refurbished market, is about to get even cheaper whenever the iPhone 15 comes out. And when that happens, oh my God, such a steal that the iPhone 13 Pro Max will be. If you are looking for a used iPhone, look no further than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But let me explain you why. So the first big point, of course, is the screen. The screen on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a ProMotion 120 Hz display capable of going at 1200 nits. So the peak brightness, the color accuracy, the ProMotion make this display, a NOLA display, an amazing display. It's the best display ever on an iPhone besides the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is a little bit more brighter. So yeah, that's the only differences between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Pro Max's display. It doesn't have dynamic island like the iPhone 15s will have or even the iPhone 14 Pro Max have, but who cares? Apple hasn't done anything with dynamic island on iOS 16 nor on iOS 17, so I don't think Apple will be keep focusing on dynamic island much further or down the future. So I think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max is still an excellent choice for the iPhone of the year in terms of value. So the display on this phone is top notch and of course, you want to regret it. buying one, even though it costs currently at about $800, this device, I do believe, will fall shorter under the 700 mark or even the 650. And when it hits that price on the used market, it's the best phone you can buy. There's no doubt. The cameras, especially the display, the new current design. This iPhone has everything. The display here again is one of the best features of this phone. And it was the first time that Apple introduced promotion and again, I think it will be revolutionary whenever Apple launches the iPhone 15. But this screen will also be incredible. And I don't see why would you buy the iPhone 14 Pro Max on a discount, a little bit discounted whenever the iPhone 15 comes out, like $200 off or $300 off, when you can buy a half-priced iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is incredible value. And I think that this screen alone is worth for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Then we also have the cameras. The cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro Max are top-notch quality. They are not as good as the iPhone 14s. They don't have the 48 megapixel sensor. They don't produce as better results as that phone. But I do believe for 95% of people, these cameras are way, way more than enough. They are top-notch quality. The video quality here, it's maybe the second best video quality ever on the phone. Behind the iPhone 14 Pro Max, of course. Then we also have the camera capabilities. These features, three lenses, the main 12 megapixel wide lens, the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and the 12 megapixel telephoto, which is a three times zoom camera. Of course, these are not 
the best on the market, especially the zoom. But the ultra wide is really good and really fun to use. And the wide camera can produce amazing results. It features macro mode, it features ProRes, every single thing, cinematic mode, every single thing that the newer iPhone features, this one can do. Maybe the iPhone 14 Pro Max can do 4K cinematic mode. Maybe the iPhone 14 Pro Max can do raw 40 megapixel sensor shots. But who cares? Maybe 9% of you care, maybe even less, like 5% or 4%. But no one cares on the main picture. And so I think the iPhone 13 Pro Max cameras are an excellent value. And so I think you should buy them. But of course, cameras, display, not everything is just about cameras and display. There's much more things to the iPhone than just amazing cameras, good display at half price. Well, isn't that the main thing you like on phones and you upgrade phones for? But I will let that rest until later. Then you have the software support that your phone can, will get. This phone features the A15 chip, the same A15 chip present on the iPhone 14s. Yes, the current new model from Apple. So I do believe this phone will get the same software support as the iPhone 14s. And so it will probably get six to even seven years of software support on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this phone will still be upgraded down the line for several years. So you have incredible displays, you have incredible cameras, you have software support even further than you will even use this phone. Then why? Why are you still asking why I'm telling you this is the best value iPhone? But let's keep going. Then we also have another advantage of this phone over other iPhones that are a bit older, like the design. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is the only squared off iPhone that features ProMotion, amazing cameras, and it still features a new design from the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 15 that is about to come. So what do you want me to tell you? This phone has everything, has the matte glass back, has the stainless steel sides, has this amazing Sierra blue color, has the incredible and my favorite color ever, the forest green. This phone has everything. It was the perfect iPhone launch, in my opinion. It is so refined, it's so fast. The promotion display is incredible. The cameras are amazing. Software support will last like forever. The design here is, is the perfect design. It's extremely, extremely good, still extremely relevant. If you buy this phone in 2023, I think you will get a piece of technology that you won't forget. You will get way worth your money. And if you buy it used or even refurbished, you will see that this phone has incredible value. And you will thank me later. Because sometimes, and I will tell you a story now, I run out of value on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, like everyone does. But instead of like waiting for my iPhone to charge and put it to the charger, well, I switch SIMs. I pick up the SIM from the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I put it on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Of course, I put the iPhone 14 Pro Max to the charge and I go by my day using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And oh my God, I almost don't notice the difference. I completely forget about dynamic talent. That's a given. That's such a gimmick currently, so I don't really care. Then I completely forget about the differences between the brightness of the displays. Again, I don't really care. And I'm a tech YouTuber, so you won't probably notice the difference even. And the cameras, the cameras almost fool me. If you don't know, there's a video coming on my channel about an e-bike review. It's going about in the next week. And that video was completely shot on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, at least most of it, the parts where I shoot the bike. Because I did not have my iPhone 14 Pro Max with me. I took the iPhone 13 Pro Max to that adventure. And yes, I produced incredible shots with this phone. I trusted my vacation shots to the iPhone 13 Pro Max because I still trust this camera very, very much. Maybe it doesn't have the 48 megapixel sensor, but for the times that I use that is when I want to take professional shots, I need time. And when I'm doing a travel, like review bike, when I'm doing an adventure, I don't have time to sit down, take beautiful shots. No, it's all very fast, all very dynamic. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max camera does that very, very well. The picture quality here is still insane for social media, for YouTube. Most of it is compressed anyway, so you'll probably notice the differences between the, the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The portrait mode here is still really good. Cinematic mode is still really useful. I think that this device is still really complete and it will fulfill your desirements for the new iPhone currently. So if you don't have the money to buy the newest iPhone 14 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Pro Max in September, don't worry. This is your solution. Buy the iPhone 13 Pro Max on a discount used for someone that is trying to upgrade for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and so is wanting to get rid of its iPhone 13 Pro Max on a very, very good price. Because 
It's like going around trying to sell its phone as quickly as possible to get money to buy the iPhone 15 Pro Max. There, you'll get the best deals over these phones. So enjoy September, enjoy that time, enjoy iPhone season. Check out the iPhone 15 Pro Max on Apple stores. But if you want my opinion, I think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max will be the best value in September. Not the iPhone 15, not the iPhone 15 Plus. Terrible choice, by the way. Go for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, still a better choice. And this time it will be cheaper, not just like the iPhone 14 Plus, which was about the same price and about the same specs, but had promotion over it. Now you'll have one more camera, you will have promotion. No, you won't have dynamic calend, but it will have lightning still, but it's much, much cheaper. And you will find amazing prices in September whenever anyone is trying to sell their older iPhones. So get the iPhone 13 Pro Max in September. I think this is the best iPhone to get when the iPhone 15 comes out. So what do you think about the iPhone 13 Pro Max in 2023? Would you get the iPhone 13 Pro Max whenever the iPhone 15 comes out? Or are you just spending more money, splurging more money and buying the newer iPhone? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want more iPhone 15 coverage, check out my channel, subscribe my channel so you don't miss any more videos. Whenever the iPhone 15 comes out, I will buy it, I will review it, and I will compare it to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and every other device on Apple's lineup. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and of course, drop a like down below so no one misses my video. While you're there, follow my social networks, Twitter and Instagram, you heard me right, Twitter, not threads. And thank you guys for watching. This is Vintech Smart Talking to you here. Bye-bye.